In Australia, obviously, we have a very large amount of allergies, from food allergies to antibiotic allergies. What my research really has shown is that if you systematically assess patients that come in and say they have experienced a, a reaction to an antibiotic, only 1 in 10 has a true allergy. 90% actually just probably had a viral rash. So there's really a great need of understanding this more and then tailoring information to a patients and GPs. I have cystic fibrosis, so I've been treated for a long time with a lot of antibiotics and I've had reactions to antibiotics over the years, which meant it was limiting my access to good treatment. There is some issues that I have in terms of side effects with antibiotics, but I don't have allergies, so I can now have the full range of antibiotics that I require to treat my condition. Uh, in no other country at the moment there is a model where the GP can assess antibiotic allergies. It's still in the hand of specialists. I would really like to see a decrease probably more from the 18% to maybe a background of about 5%. And I think in WA we're uniquely situated to really show that that can happen.